Yeah, I'm going to show up. This is something we worked on a little while ago and have continued to iterate on since. Um, like, we, we couldn't do a webinar on automation without talking about design tokens. Um, so within Zero Height, we have a top-level section for tokens. Um, this allows teams to bring in their design tokens from a number of different sources. I'll actually show you those here. Um, uh, yeah, so you can bring these in from a number of different sources, whether your design tokens already live in code. So if you have a JSON file stored in um, GitHub or in GitLab, um, then you can bring that in and you can sync that. If your design tokens live in, or the source of truth for those is your design tool, you can also bring those in. And so we have an option here for bringing in Figma styles and converting those into tokens. Um, we also have support for uh, Figma variables, which is actually using a plugin. So um, there's a few technical reasons why we have to go down the plugin route for that rather than bring it in via the existing REST API. Um, but you can also bring it in from a JSON import as well. So the idea is behind this, and we're following the W3C spec for, um, for design tokens. So the idea behind this is like, no matter where your tokens exist, if you can get them out into that standard format, you should be able to then get them into zero height. Um, for this example, I'm going to show off um, the link with GitLab just because um, this is so new. And here I have a demo token file that already exists in GitLab. I'm going to sync this, bring this in. Um, you can see I can bring in every type of token. So here I've got colors, I've got um, animation, duration, sizes, all sorts of things. Um, once that's inside zero height, they, they will live in your token manager now. So all these tokens exist here. They can then be documented in your style guides or design system sites, as you'd expect. You can also do other things within this um, within this section of the product. So you can make changes to these um, tokens right here. So if um, say for uh, if there were design colleagues who wanted to make changes using a kind of visual UI, they can make changes to say this token here um, using a nice color picker. Let's completely change it, um, and then from there that change can then be published to the style guide. So automatically updated, but those changes can also be pushed out to other places. So you can, um, it's a two-way sync with our Git repositories. So you can push that back out to GitLab or GitHub. Um, you can also download the JSON to use other tools. And there's also an option for a star dictionary export, which I'll talk about in just a second. I'll actually hand over to Dave for some of the technical details there. Um, but the idea here is that um, we have a place for tokens to live. You can bring them in from all your sources, and then you can send them out to other places based on what you need. And, uh, and I think that's quite a nice chance for me to segue and hand over to Dave to explain how our Star Dictionary export works. Um, I'll continue sharing my screen and just show this in the background. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, um, this this feature is actually more powerful than what it might seem. Like it says Star Dictionary export, but actually has the ability to export to abundance of different um, platforms. So. Um, being a front-end developer at heart, I, I am uh, quite a fan of CSS. And so by selecting the CSS option that Nick's just selected there, that URL will actually provide folks with a um, CSS file. And that CSS file will contain all your variables that have been pulled into zero height as usable variables inside of your CSS. So say you're working on the marketing website and you need the colors and the fonts and the sizing and the spacing that are all living in, theoretically, they could be in Figma, they could be in GitHub, they could be in GitLab, it could be anywhere, and they could be sucked through into zero height, and then zero height will provide this URL, and then that goes back out to your uh, development like environment, and then you can start using those variables immediately. And that's the same, that's the same for... Um, an iOS application even. That's the same for an Android application. That's the same for like, if you just want a JSON object with all that data in it, there's a lot of options 